Hello, hello, and welcome back to Me Talk TV. It's Rena, and I'm so happy that you decided to join me on today. Today, we are talking about how, I said how, to get rid of these bed bugs because y'all not getting the gist of this. So I'm going to show you. And also, I will leave a link to my Amazon affiliate down in the description if you want to know where I got my steamer, which I didn't get my steamer from there. I'm going to leave it down in the description. It does not matter what steamer you use, okay? So let's get to it. So first, we're going to look at this bed. We're going to examine our bed. We're going to go around our bed. We're going to do this, okay? Then we're just going to strip our bed down. Strip it down to the low, low, okay? All the way down. Strip it down. Strip it down. Strip it down. I don't care if you did make your bed. You can make it back up. It's not going to hurt. But if you see a bed bug... You need to strip your bed, okay? That's what you need to do. And I'm going to show you all the things that you need to have, which I'm not going to show you the thing because I do have alcohol, but I don't have the baking soda because I don't have bed bugs, okay? I don't have them. So, it's no point. But I am going to show you how to look for these bugs, and how to get rid of them if you have them, okay? So we're stripping our bed. We're stripping it down. Yeah, we're going to strip it down. And we have our steamer right here. And we're going to turn it on. And I do have an extension cord because the thing don't want to reach a lot of times, okay? So I have to plug up an extension cord. And I already filled it with water. And you want to make sure you fill it. You don't have to fill it all the way to the max if you don't want to. Just put enough in there that you can do your whole bed, okay? And don't go over the max because it's going to drip out hot water and you don't want that. You don't want your bed all wet. Y'all excuse it. Yeah, I do have lights behind my bed and at night it'd be so pretty lit up back there. So, yeah. But anyway, let's get this thing going. And so, if I had bed bugs, I'm going to tell you something. They would be up in the cracks and crevices. They like cracks and crevices, okay? And also, they would be up on the side of the bed as well right up in this area right here and they will be all over in here if i had bed bugs i don't have them they will hide this is where they hide okay so down here as well right here this is where they would hide if i had bed bugs but as you can see there's none there's none okay but i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all how to do this So here we go. Our steamer is getting hot, but you want to make sure that your steamer is really hot, okay? Really, really hot. Okay, so do y'all hear it getting hot? You can hear it getting hot, right? So you want to go over here and take your time okay you want to go over here and hold it on there for a little bit because you want to make sure that they are all dead so you want to take your steamer and go on the sides and the cracks and the crevices of your bed but like i said take it a little slow okay don't be in such a rush because if you move this thing too fast you will not you know it won't be on there too long we want to kill the eggs and all, okay? So, yeah. And make sure that you get these cracks, these crevices. Y'all see that steam? Yes. need y'all to go look at the video where I did this when I had bed bugs way back. You have to go down there. You have to go back. And it's going to show them dropping dead, okay? I'm only just demonstrating right now. If I had bed bugs, they would be around here in this area as well. It would be baby ones. It would be big ones. It would be just terrible if I had bed bugs, but I don't have them as you can see. Okay, but if you do have them, you want to get your steamer, right? And you want to place it on that area that's 
got so many bed bugs, okay? And you want to hold it there for a while. Because you want to make sure, like I said, that you're getting their eggs and everything. They get away real quick, okay? So you have to be real quick too as well. Like if you see one, get up, move right in. Because if you don't, they're gonna multiply, okay? And that's one of the reasons why people is having so many, so much um, hard time trying to get rid of them because they don't want to get up and just do the job, okay? Also, let me show y'all this. I also want to say this as well, but this is going to be a hassle for me, but I just want to show you. You want to take everything up off of your bed. Everything. When I tell you strip it down, that means take the whole, this whole mattress off of the bed and get to the nitty gritty of the problem. Get down there at the bottom of the problem, okay? But since I don't have bed bugs, I'm just going to tell you to take this off. You have to really take everything off your bed and listen listen to this if you have a bed skirt if you have a bed skirt and you have bed books this you need to get rid of this because this is a whole ladder up to your bed to crawl to get to you so they can suck your blood okay so get rid of this if you have one of these and you have bed books get rid of it don't wash it don't do just throw it away okay i had to do that so since i don't have bed books i can have my luscious beautiful skirt now because i love these things right here it hurt my heart when i had to throw it away but i'm telling you what i know and what i know is real because i've been through this i don't have to worry about it no more if i had them i would not have this bed skirt okay take these tips tricks and learn 